<laughs> Tessa was diagnosed with a congenital heart defect in utero at my 20 week anatomy scan. Um, we had a few different diagnoses, um, and then when Tessa was born, um, she was diagnosed with about six different things. It's not just transplant and home and everything's good, there's a lot of, of things you have to work through. We usually start with uh, speech therapy, so Tessa obviously hasn't had any food by mouth um, in almost a year, so we're really working on trying to introduce tastes and textures um, so that she gets used Yay, to that. Tessa! Yay. We're trying to work on some sign language also because of Tessa's trait. Um, she also hasn't been able to verbalize anything in about a year. So we're trying to learn on how to do sounds, but while we work on sounds, we're trying to do some sign language too. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then after we do speech, we have physical therapy. So the main thing that we're working on right now is really strengthening her core. She laid in bed for you know, eight, nine months um, before the transplant, and so her body became really weak. Um, she had never rolled over. She had never sat up on her own. So we are working on that now. She, um, about a week after being home with all of her therapy, she rolled over for the first time. So it's amazing. And now, last week in therapy, she sat up on her own for 12 seconds. So it doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot. <laughs> Usually she is always smiley and laughing and just a delight. She's seriously the easiest baby, minus all of the equipment. Um, her personality is just, she's just the best. I just want to see her grow and continue to grow. Um, I'm not worried about these developmental milestones and when you're supposed to hit them. Tessa does things on Tessa's time and I just want to see her get to those things in her time and start doing things that normal babies do.